Once thought to be lost to history, the Cairo was found at the bottom of the Yazoo River in 1956. She was one of seven ironclad, steam-powered boats built by the Union to fight on inland waterways during the Civil War. The Cairo was not a part of the battle for control of Vicksburg in 1863. She sank a few months before the siege began when she hit a couple of mines on the Yazoo River. Still, this vessel is an important part of the Vicksburg Military Park because of the story it has to tell. You, we do not have a more complete example of a Union vessel than what you see here. Uh, what we have on display <clears throat> on display is about 45 percent of the original structure with fabricated pieces giving you the impression of what the vessel itself would have looked like. The Cairo would have been an imposing sight to Confederate troops. 175 feet long, covered in 122 tons of thick iron armor and mounted with 13 big guns. But all of that iron made the ship slow and heavy. She sank quickly. Uh, because the Cairo goes down in 12 minutes, uh, the sailors do not have time to really gather any personal effects. Uh, the only things that do, they do manage to get are the things that floated to the top. Everything else was buried in mud for almost 100 years. More than 15,000 artifacts were found. Many of them can now be seen in the Cairo Museum. Each item tells the story of how Union soldiers lived in the mid-19th century. I love this exhibit. Having grown up on the water, I've seen a lot of ships, but I've never seen, you know, but they were sailing ships like the Constitution and those, but this was, you know, the steamship would, it's, it's really fascinating, very, very interesting. I never expected to see anything like this. Yeah, this, this boat here has completely surprised me. I mean, I knew about the trenches and the fighting and the battles and the bayonets and that stuff, but to see the maritime stuff here is really surprising. This summer, the Vicksburg Military Park will welcome thousands of tourists from all over the country. The people visiting today are impressed with the Cairo exhibit and they are glad it's been preserved. I'm just very happy that uh, we spend money on the National Park Services to have these parks here, that people can come here for recreation, that they can come here for history. And so uh, I think it's, a, it's something that I hope that the federal government never, ever cuts because it's, it's just wonderful to come here and, and relive history and have a beautiful setting.